What's going on, Fountain Family? I'm Pastor Damon. This is my lovely wife, Lady Sarah. Listen, we want to come to you today with a special video. It's going to be about grocery shopping and saving money. Listen, we all in this pandemic, we all this together, and uh, I know money is being stretched as we have them kids eating everything at the house. Uh, so I want to allow my wife to give you some tips to help you go to the next level and how to manage your money during this crisis. And we got plenty of years of experience, mm -hmm. but we didn't have what we need, and I'm going to show us how she helped us. Yes, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to take $65, guys, mm -hmm. and we're going to feed a family of five. We call ourselves the Fab Five, so we figured that we'll show you some of the things that we did Mm -hmm. when we wanted to save money and feed. So we got $65 to create some meals with an S. Yes. That's breakfast, meals. lunch, dinner, and we threw in a couple snacks for the kids. So you're gonna be excited to see some things you may know, but some things to know how to stretch those dollars, get those kids fed, make the husband happy, mm -hmm. and save some money on your pocket. That sound good? Sounds good to me. Well, let's do it. Let's do it. What's going on, everybody? What's going on? Okay, so we're finally at the grocery store after mm -hmm. planning, writing our list, having the game plan down. Yes. So remember, the goal is to spend $65. And family, don't forget, we're still going into the store, so we still want to be safe and smart. So don't forget your mask and your gloves. And don't forget your hand sanitizer. Yes. You don't need that. Sure, you're staying six feet. Still practice social distancing in the grocery store. Always make sure you get your meats first. So it looks like when you come to the grocery store, you have to come a little early because the hamburger that I normally get is out. But that's okay, this shall suffice. It's still 80-20, still hamburger, we still make some delicious meals. So if you're gonna get your meat first, you'll know exactly how much to spend on your side. So now that we're in the pasta aisle, you can get a whole lot of pasta for a little bit of money. So our Alfredo sauce is $169. You can always up it up, but if you're not making it homemade, then Prego is also another great brand. But this will do. Instead of buying the individual packaging, go for the bigger box. It stretches longer. Kroger but it's awesome. Make sure you pack your patients when you come to the grocery store. We always want to practice social distancing, so stay for six feet and just give it a minute. Sometimes you gotta take it back old school. These as a kid, always a winner. Okay, fam, we did it. We did $65. It. We were able to get breakfast, lunch, dinner, and we threw in a couple snacks. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, now that we're back from the grocery store, I immediately come in and I put my groceries on the floor because if there are any germs on the bags or on the food, I don't want it to get on the countertop. So I leave them on the floor until I'm ready for them. And then we kind of do the most here. So we take the groceries and anything that I'm touching constantly over and over again, I actually wipe it down. So if you have some mice on wipes, cool. Not any, any brand of do. Okay, so we finally made it to the kitchen. We went shopping, we got our food, we stayed in our $65 budget to make 45 meals for our family of five. And remember, in the beginning of our video, we bought a big pack of chicken and a big pack of hamburger. So today we want to do something different and actually cook one of the meals. So with our chicken breast, it actually had six big chicken breasts. 
So we're just gonna use three of those for now and then we'll use three for later to make something like chicken fried rice, uh, chicken quesadillas, chicken parmesan, chicken chimichangas, you know, and I'm sure you're creative and can come up with some other chicken meals, but that's what we'll use for another meal. We have our chicken breasts already cleaned and cut up. We took three big chicken breasts, cut them down the middle, made them six regular sized chicken breasts. We got all of our seasoning, so we're ready to make this chicken alfredo. We'll show you the finished product in a minute. Boom, bam. Now you're ready to feed your family of five or your party of five. You can always add a side of breadsticks, some frozen vegetables in the microwave. Kick this up a notch by adding a little bacon, some frozen peas, chicken carbonara like that. Guys, we want you to have fun, stay safe. We're gonna get through this together and save a little money in the process.